<laughs> yo 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 what is going on guys it's your boy trent back with another video it is official jadson dart the quarterback from usc and also michael trent the tight end from usc both coming to old miss this is some huge pickups for old miss uh definitely gonna help us talking about death wise for sure now if these guys are going to be starters next year in 2022 for old miss i don't know we'll talk about that here in just a minute but it's definitely gives some depth at the quarterback and also the tight end position as well. But both guys were both true freshmen this year at USC. Uh, neither one of them saw just a whole bunch of playing time, but they still got a decent amount of playing time. So here in 2021, Jackson Dart threw 189 passes, completing 117 of them, which is a 61.9 completion percentage. He threw for 1,353 yards, nine passing touchdowns, five interceptions, two rushing touchdowns on the season. So completing 62% of your passes as a true freshman, that's pretty good as a true freshman. Nine passing touchdowns, five interceptions, not the best ratio out there, but you have to understand, uh, Corral was really the same way too, and it's really it's really for all young quarterbacks uh most guys when they first come in they're not going to play like tom Brady their freshman year a lot of times it takes players to it just kind of takes them some time to learn the playbook and just learn some stuff as a true freshman and of course the more you play the, the better you'll get uh you're gonna make better decisions when you get older as well too so um Talking about the ratio, touchdown, the interception ratio, it I can promise you that will get better for sure. But also, Michael Trent had seven catches, 109 yards, one touchdown on the season. So there, as a true freshman, that's not bad either. I can promise um, he will get more catches at Ole Miss and more yards the older he gets and the longer he plays for Ole Miss as well. So now talking about the quarterback position and the tight end position at Ole Miss right now. So the quarterback position, I really don't think there's no doubt. It's going to be two guys this offseason. We're talking about the starter. It's going to be Jackson Dart or it's going to be Luke Altmaier. So Dart um, completed 62% of his passes. Altmaier completed 54.1% percent of his passes but Altmaier didn't play too much he did make an appearance in the uh, Tennessee and Auburn game didn't play too much he just came in when Corral was injured and then when Corral came back uh, Altmaier was sent back to the bench so really Altmaier has really only played one game all season and that was the Sugar Bowl when Matt Corral was injured and Altmaier came in late first quarter, early second, and then played the rest of the game. But uh, I, I still like Altmaier. I still think the kid's very, very good, very talented. And I do believe Kiffin and the coaches will take the time on the quarterback uh, position. I really don't think Ole Miss will announce he's starting quarterback until a week or two before their first game. And to be honest with you, I would not be surprised if you see two quarterbacks for the first game of the season. Uh, you actually might see Ole Miss use two quarterbacks the first three, four games. Uh, we just don't really know. But now talking about the tight end position. So, of course, you have Michael Trigg coming in. Last year, we had a couple couple tight ends are pretty good um our leading reception and tight end was casey kelly which is chad kelly's brother uh casey kelly had 17 catches 150 yards one touchdown now kelly was a sophomore last year i believe uh, so he'll be a junior this year at Ole miss and then we also had chase rogers had nine catches 93 yards one touchdown on the season now, I'm almost positive Rodgers was a senior, um, so I don't think he's coming back. So the starting tight end should be Tritt or, or Casey Kelly. Uh, they're both pretty talented guys, too. And I think that could be a position battle that may not be announced until, you know, a week before the first game starts. But anyway, um, 
these two guys are definitely going to be huge pickups for sure. Definitely going to help us depth-wise at the quarterback and tight end position for sure. Um, but coming from a fan perspective, definitely happy to hear. And uh, they're definitely going to help the team out for sure. So that's all I got for the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Hidey tidy.